Oh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to enter recovery mode on your iPhone 17. Your recovery mode is used uh, if your iPhone is not working properly. For example, it's stuck on the Apple logo or it's stuck in a boot loop, which means it's turning on and off um, constantly. Also, it's used when you uh, when your iPhone is not turning on, even even though it's charged. And in some other cases, it also may become useful. Um, and um, I'm gonna explain more what you can do with it in a moment. Uh, but you can update your system, so it'll just. Um, It'll just update it. So, for example, if you have problems after an update on your phone, then you can update it through recovery mode so it fixes the issue. Uh, also, you can restore. If update fails, then you can restore. But remember, restore will erase the data on your iPhone. And if you have Apple account logged in on your iPhone, then you won't be able to... Um, you won't be able to uh, set up your iPhone without entering the Apple account. So you, you'll just need to enter the previously signed in Apple account. Without that, you can't continue in the setup after resetting the iPhone through restart method. But I'll explain more in a moment. First, let's talk about how to enter it. So you'll need a computer. Uh, it can be Windows, it can be Mac. On Windows, it, the app is called Apple Devices. You can get it on Microsoft Store. Microsoft Store is um, an app uh, that is pre-installed on your uh, Windows computer. If you have a and then you just need to search for Apple devices. Uh, if you have a Mac, then uh, you'll just find your phone in Finder once you connect it. So I'm gonna connect it. Of course, your phone can be currently off because maybe it's not working, but I have it on so I can show you all the steps, how they look. Uh, I'm gonna trust this computer, but of course if your iPhone doesn't work, it's not necessary to click on trust on your, on your iPhone for the recovery mode to work. Um, now I'm gonna uh, show you the app because I already have the Apple Devices app open. Mm, so as you can see right here, uh, this is how it looks. And um, well, to enter the recovery mode, all you need to do is uh, press shortly on volume up, then shortly on volume down, then start pressing and holding on the side button. And now, typically, this uh, action, volume up, volume down, then side button, uh, would be called a force restart because your iPhone will restart. But it will only restart uh, if you release the power button once the Apple logo shows up. But we will need to hold for longer so let's do it. Shortly volume up, shortly volume down, then press and hold, power button. If your iPhone currently works, you'll see this screen slide to power off, but don't do anything. Just keep on holding the power button. Now my screen has went off, but I'm still holding. I need to hold until I see the recovery mode. And your phone should be connected to the computer during that. Now you can see I have the recovery mode on my iPhone. Uh, and um, the Apple Devices app has shown there is a problem and I can either update it or restore it. Update doesn't erase the contents, just fixes the corrupted system data and restore will erase the content and uh, should be used if update fails. Uh, I'm gonna try updating normally. Okay, it says if your iPhone can't be updated, you will need to restore it to factory settings. Okay, let's just try updating. I already have downloaded the software, so I won't need to wait too long. Uh, you can see it's already extracting the software, but if you, um, if you haven't uh, downloaded it yet, then you'll need to wait for several minutes until it downloads about like 10 or 11 gigabytes of data. Uh, so it's important to know that and I think I'll just get back to when it's done You can see that it is currently updating uh, This bar has to come to an end somewhere around here and it may need to come to an end twice or even three times 
Okay, for some reason it says uh, it could not be updated and that an unknown error occurred. So I could either... Um, okay, now I'll need to wait until the phone turns on. Maybe it's still working, maybe it'll manage to work. But if not, then I'll need to either try updating again and if it fails again, then um, restoring it, which will erase the data. Okay, I actually needed to factory, uh, sorry, to force restart. So I just uh, did what we did to enter recovery mode, but shorter. So I just did like volume up, volume down, then press and hold the side button until the screen has went off because it was just stuck there. So I need to actually restore it because I wasn't able to do it with uh, the update. The update failed. Okay, for some reason it failed again. If it did, in your case as well, then uh, there's a problem and um, what you can do is enter the DFU mode, but for DFU there is another video, so if you had a problem like me, uh, you can just watch a video called iPhone 17 DFU mode explained on our channel and it will tell you exactly what to do. So I hope that the video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.